Hello everybody. Today we have a Zenotic demo. Five, this four, is Snip Snap three, Snoopy, who is Tommy, two, versus FSMP one, Wolf Snipe. These are very good players, and we're going to be on uh, Tommy's POV for this game. So Tommy's starting off with the uh, Mega Hell uh, Mega Armor spawn, and going to get a good amount of damage on this first fight and sneak off to grab that 50. Now heading around, gets hit with a direct rocket right off the bat. Wolf Snipe, very good at hitting direct rockets and getting damage from around corners. A heavy spam player, Wolf Snipe. Most of his kills actually come from spam around corners. Quite defensive, but does know when to go in for the attack. And also knows not to go in for the attack right now. Tommy, 125 and 97, he's doing very well. He's very stacked up. He's got to try and catch Wolf Snipe off guard though, otherwise Wolf Snipe is going to be able to stack up and set everything up for the next fight. First fight should be going to Tommy in just a second. Wolf Snipe, I'm surprised he's still alive. He must have been able to pick up something. Probably that 50 earlier. He's managed to pick up the 100, get that Mega Armor, but Tommy has traded it. And now they've swapped on their major items. Both players should still have the timing if they're counting the times. But quite often... Players like these are not quite counting time. You sort of notice it if you have to. But you don't always look directly at the time and take the seconds. You just vaguely know what time it is so that you can run past it when you feel like it. And you know whether your opponent's taking it or not. Or whether you should just sit on it and wait. It's a rare moment when you might time properly the items to the second. Uh, unless you're insanely good like Rafa. He times them to the half second and... Still manages to hit shots somehow. She's incredible. But Tommy, he's got one kill on the board now. He's looking for a second. Not going to quite find it. He's a defensive player, Tommy. He does like to go for the items rather than the fights. He could have probably got a, got a kill there, but he decided to duck out and go grab that uh, go grab that 50, which will have put him in a very good position. He has got a lot of stack. He's able to bully Wolf Snipe now. Off of these items, he's fully stacked up. He should be going in for a fight. But you don't want to go into a fight like that. That's the sort of fight where you're just going to lose a lot of stack. You might get the kill, but you're going to lose a lot more stack than it's worth. Especially when you're in full control of the map. Your opponent can't do a lot. They're only allowed to go where you let them go. And you're able to scoop up items. Push back around to here and wolf snipe now. He has to just respect the fact that Tommy's going to grab this item. He has to get as much damage as he can out. Which he's going to do quite a bit. He's going to get two direct rockets off there. Who's going to grab this? Tommy's managed to pick up the red... The uh, health, sorry. The mega health. And Wolf Snipe now. He's got a bit of a bad spawn. That teleporter. It's teleported there, actually. Not a door. Which means that the spawns can be thrown off slightly. And you can spawn quite close. So, Tommy capitalising that. Four frags up now. We're three minutes into this game. We've got seven minutes left. There's a lot to go down. Wolf Snipe takes a lot of damage. It's five to nothing now. Wolf Snipe's not quite able to get anything on the board right now. Not quite able to put his pants back up. Tommy spots him. Using that wonderful yellow colour that Tommy uses for his enemy models. Most players go with green, but I do respect the yellow. Especially on some of these maps, the green could be quite difficult to see. Beautiful shot there from Tommy. Wolf Snipe not managing to get a lot of damage in. Tommy is doing a lot. He doesn't rely a lot on his uh, vortex, actually. Believes himself to have quite a small neck, but everybody knows. Tommy's got big necks. When he needs to hit the necks, he'll hit the necks. Wolf Snipe being bullied off of the necks, though. He is being bullied off of the Vortex right now. And finally grabbing one on the board. Tommy grabs. <laughs> Bullshit indeed, Wolf Snipe. Terrible spawn for Wolf Snipe there. He's got a bad spawn when he was spawning, and Tommy managed to pick up a good spawn for himself. Manages to just grab that machine gun. Usually you don't get a kill with it. It's a finishing weapon in the depths of a situation like that when you've run out of all other ammo. Which isn't something that happens too often in Zenotic. It's not a game incredibly about ammo management. It's a lot more about other things. Positioning. 
items, actually grabbing the items in the first place. That's the difficult part. You can see there's no ammo boxes, just dead in the middle. Like a lot of other games, you can easily pick up ammo boxes. They're in corners, they're not necessary to pick up. And a beautiful wait there from Tommy. That's his vortex coming right out there. Able to just sit on the item. And a beautiful move right off with that blaster. He's very low. But he knows that he's done what he needs to do. He knows he's grabbed both of those major Slow items. Kill. And he manages to pick up a kill. 9-1 to one the scoreline now. 5 minutes 30 in the match. Coming into the second half now. Wolf Snipe not looking good for him. He should be able to pick up something from this fight. But he's keeping Tommy honest now. Right at the start of this game, he was not keeping Tommy honest. I think he's tabbed out to type something just there. Tommy misses that item, actually. Wolf Snipe grabbing it and grabs a kill. That's good for Tommy. He jumps up. Doesn't grab the next, though, interestingly. Goes for a beautiful shot through there, realising that Wolf Snipe was going to grab that item. Sees the item be taken. He'll know the time now. If he's going to time it, he's got the time. A beautiful rocket. Curved beautifully down and right onto his opponent. And now Wolf Snipe is pushing. He's not got the right weapons to push like this, though. He's on the floor, being down low, not going to help him at all. I think that was a traded frag. But Tommy, gonna, it was indeed a traded frag. Tommy going to get the spawn on the mega, on the armor there. And Wolf Snipe. He's not in a good position. 12 to 3. The game looks to be going in Tommy's favour. Wolf Snipe now on the back foot. Cannot seem to get a grip. Tommy is playing with the momentum right now. Wolf Snipe can get a few kills in if he can capitalise on this massive amount of damage that he's just dealt to Tommy. Then there is a chance he'll be able to do something. He gets the kill. He gets the 100 armour. And now Tommy manages to steal away that mega. He may go down here. He's going to back out. He's going to go away. He's to Sarah. He's going to pick up that 50 armor. Grabs the 50 armor. And now Tommy is trying to run away. He's only got two and a half minutes left in this game. He's going to get hit. Wolfsnip's going to know he's there now. He'll have seen that flash of red on his crosshair. He'll have seen that Tommy is there. Heard the hit beep. He'll know where Tommy is, and there he goes. He takes Tommy down. Wolf Snipe grabs that. Tommy commits suicide. 11 to 5, the scoreline. Wolf Snipe may be pulling this back. He's pulled back around half the frags that he had to make. Or just lower. It's taking a minute. Sorry about the yawning. The scoreline now 11 to 6. Tommy he might be able to do something here. He lands one, lands two. But he's not going to be able to get away from a vortex shot straight to the face. He spawns. He grabs the 100 armor. He grabs a few shards and a little bit more health. And now he needs to find weapons. Wolf Snipe pushing well aggressive now. But he's going to go down to the necks of Tommy. He wasn't, wasn't quite stacked enough to take that fight. Rushed in. We're coming to the closing minutes. He's got to do something. He knows he's got to do something to pull this back. And Tommy just has to play casually. has to play competitively. He has to stay. And there it goes. He lands another Nex. Gets the shot. There's the 100 armor. Wolf snaps going to survive to pick this up. Tommy goes for the blaster shot. Flying out of here. Has a wonderful amount of movement with that blaster. Great to see what he can do with that. With a minute left on the clock, Wolf Snipe down by seven frags. It's definitely doable, but at this point, Tommy has control. He knows what he's got to do. He knows he doesn't have to go on the offensive. In Xenotic, you can just run away a little bit, bouncing him into the air, actually taking more damage because of that bounce. But Tommy's able to take the item, and that's the important part. Wolf Snipe will not be able to do anything. If Tommy is just scooping up all the items like he is in this one. Tommy hits himself a couple of times with uh, a bit of rocket splash damage. You can tell he's a little bit nervous, but he shouldn't be too nervous. Right now. 
He's definitely got the win. With 10 seconds left to go, frag difference is 10. There's no way that Wolf Snap's going to get 10 kills in 5 seconds. Tommy is going to take this one. Thank you for sending that demo, Tommy. 70 to 7 the score line. Well played to Wolf Snipe though. Kept him honest. Played well to the end. Oh, no. If you'd like to send in a demo for me to cast, please hit me up on IRC if you're from Xenotic. If you're from another game, then hit me up on wherever you can find me for that game. Um, I'm happy to take all sorts of demos. I prefer dual because that's what I am. I feel I'm the best at casting. And I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you very much for watching this video. Send me some duels and I will see you next one.